three by one wide receiver step three on the near one on the far cleveland in the backfield he's gonna get the handoff and he's gonna be going he's going to the 50 not even touch past the line of scrimmage spinning past the 40 into denison territory all the way down to the 34 yard line a gain of about 30 for tanner cleveland as will harris the junior is holding this hold is down kick is up and it has the distance it is good a 27-yard field goal for the senior Jake Tanner puts the DePaul Tigers up 3-0 in the early going. With DePaul looking to hold Denison to only a field goal and tie it up as Gabley takes a snap. He's getting pressured. Oh, he's sacked. Falls out. It is recovered by DePaul. It looks like Matt Mitch hopped on it. Matt Groupie got to the quarterback first, sacked him with a thunderous hit, causing the ball to be knocked loose. Gabley couldn't hop on it, and it looks like the senior Matt Mitch jumped on it. Gabley calling out commands he's going to scramble to his right throw it it's going to be picked off by Chandler Nicholson he's going to the 40 he makes the move he's going to try and take this one back to the house he gets to the 20 he's going to cross midfield he's going to get a block from his Brooks oh. and all the way to the 10 yard line Chandler Nicholson's third interception of the season so Tanner will come on for the 25 yard attempt snap hold kick is up of course has the distance and that is going to be up and through so DePaul takes a 6-0 lead with 7:20 to go so this is a team who again is right there with the upper echelon teams in the NCAC a good return oh. this time from Denison and he fumbled the ball it looked like it was just a tackle a regular gain a regular kickoff return but that time the returner Dara Laha for the Denison Big Red coughed it up on the kickoff return this one will be from about 40, just shy of 40. We'll call it 39. And Tanner, the senior, is on to stretch this lead, hopefully the nine. The snap down kick is up, has the distance, and this one is good. So Jake Tanner feeling it today, getting a lot of reps. Three field goals, three for three. And as a result, nine to zero in favor of DePaul with 5.30 to go in this first half. Gabley drops back. He's looking towards the end zone. It is caught by the receiver that time it looked like hunter biddle will confirm that but i think it was indeed a touchdown from the senior gabley to the sophomore hunter biddle as denison will tack on no it's blocked the extra point was blocked two minutes and 50 seconds remaining gabley in the shotgun set takes the snap it's going to be a play action pass he's looking corner of the end zone for weimer and it is caught Fourth down and 11. It comes down to this. Two by two receivers. Cleveland in the backfield. Haynes takes the snap. He's dropping back. Pressure's coming. Steps up in the pocket, and he throws. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. So here we go. Two by two receivers. A tight look, though, from the Denison offense. And it's going to be that jet sweep you talked about, Griffin, and it is going to be a touchdown for Denison. The line was stacked. The box was full, and the outside of the field was clear. Hunter Biddle, his second touchdown of the day. Three by one receivers, third down and six. Haynes gets the snap. He drops back to pass, looking to his left, has time. He throws across the middle. It's complete to Will Harris at midfield. Cam Haynes drops back. They send the house. He hits, it looks like Ethan Hudson across the middle. That's going to be a gain of about 20 again, folks. I think third down and one from the DePaul Tiger 21-yard line. So they can get a first down, stop the clock, but 27 seconds to go. They do have one timeout remaining. The sophomore Haynes gets the ball, drops back. He's going to the end zone for Logan Green. It is caught! It's caught in the end corner of the end zone. No! He dropped it. Oh, the reaction of the crowd and everybody thought he hung on to that one, Griffin. Down and one, 23 seconds to go. Haynes takes the snap. It's going to be a quick throw. Out to Hammersley, and he, no, he says he didn't catch it. I thought for sure he caught it. And there you have it. DePaul is going to drop a tough one today against the Denison Big Red, 20-12. to 12. 